Hey, this is Jay from A Stitch in Time in Bemidji, Minnesota, showing you how to use PE Design 11 to convert the thread colors into a format that you can use. So sometimes when we go buy designs from a company, they will be uh, coded for Isochord, Floriani, Robus Nanton, Salky, whatever you want. Is there a way to quickly convert them into something that we have in, in our thread arsenal? And it is. It's very, very simple. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to go into PE Design 11, and I'm going to click on the Import button on the right-hand side. And if you don't see the import button, you can click up on view and then make sure that your import pane is checked here. And that's important to know. And then it'll be over here. At this point, we can choose where we want. And I have this selected to folder or you have a whole bunch of different designs that are built into the program. But I have it selected to folder. And then I just um, click on this little icon right here and that lets me scroll through um, my whole embroidery library to find the one that I wanted. Now today is this is one of my fun designs that I, we got from OESD. They always encode theirs in Isochord. So I'm going to bring over Paul Bunyan uh, riding his bicycle made out of logs and just so that I, my OESD kicks in here I'm going to rotate him to the right just so that I can see him a little better. Now what thread colors are in here? There's a whole bunch of them across here and if I click on the thread color tab up here it shows them to me down here but it doesn't necessarily give me information about them. Well it's very easy to see this. If I go up here to the little start flower button in the top left hand corner and I click on design properties it has all the colors right here. These are the numbers, this is the brand, this is the uh, description of what part of the design it is and here is their approximate uh, name for it. Don't get hung up on the name. Everyone's got different names for everything. But I want this to be, let's say I want this in Floriani. So I'm going to cancel out of here and there's a very quick way to do this. All I do is click on the little start flower again and come down to select color palette. And when I click that it says what thread palette do you want to use? Now there's a whole bunch of ones in here but there's also the ability to do something with my chart. You, where you can actually put in the thread colors you have and it'll look for whatever is closest and use your threads. But you want to be careful with that when you have a, something that's got a bunch of shading because it may make it look really hokey because you might not have the right shades that you needed. So I'm going to just go, go down here to Floriani and I'm going to click OK. And if you notice, it, cha it changed shade just a little bit because maybe the shade of red that they had in Isochord is not the exact same shade of red that you would have in Floriani. So what colors do we have here now? Well I can go back up here to the start flower, go to design properties, and there they all are in Floriani. These are the numbers that you can take to your store and pick them out or email them to your dealer and he will get them for you. Now one of the questions that one of my customers had was, can I print this off here quickly so I don't have to sit here and write these all down? Absolutely. So the way you do that is I'm going to go back up here to the start flower and I'm going to go down to print. But I'm going to go to print setup and because there's a lot of really cool things you can do in here. And so you can choose your printer. You can choose if you're going to do it in, in color or anything else. But there's this one thing that says right here. Make sure that you have this color changes on because when that's checked, watch what happens. I'm going to click print preview. Here it shows me the design and this is in full scale size so that I can see, I can actually cut this out and put it on a backpack or jacket to make sure I want it to be the right size. And right now it's on page one. Let's go to um, the next page. Look right here. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. That has all of your thread colors and everything right there. So you can simply print that out, take it to the store and make sure that you have everything you need. Pretty easy. I think it's pretty nice and this is where you, uh, you could go ahead and print it out and everything will look good there. So that's just a little quick lesson on PE Design 11 on how to convert designs into the thread palette of your choice. Thanks much. Have a blessed day.